These are Moki balls. Balls. Moki, M O Q U I. Moki. They're also considered Moki marbles, Moki stones, shaman stones, thunderballs. <laughs> I can't help it. It's funny. Thunderballs. Anyway, this is what they look like. Uh, mine are, you know, they fit right here in the palm of my hand. Um, as you can see, one is a little bigger than the other, and it's not quite as. Um, uniform in its shape, I guess. This one's kind of bumpy and lumpy. Uh, it said that, you know, I've, I've been reading from a lot of different, like, internet sources, and a lot of them were um, shopping pages, so, you know, I haven't, I haven't pursued a book on these yet. I haven't gotten that far. I have a friend, I have a co-worker that uses these. She has them on her desk, and she had them for the longest time. I never really thought any much about it until I sort of started getting onto my, my path that I'm on now. And, you know, I've, I've learned a lot about stones, crystals, their uses, their functions, uh, legends tied to them, things like that. And she shared these with me one day and asked me to just hold them. She was like, you know, she said, just put one in each hand and hold them. And she said, do this when you have a quiet moment, when there's no one else around, you don't feel self-conscious, you're not worried about someone walking up on you, sitting in your cube at your desk like me. Um, and she said, you know, she goes, hold them and, and, and just breathe deeply and kind of clear your mind and tell me what you feel. So I did. Everyone went to lunch at one point and I had stayed through lunch. So I sat there and I was like, okay, whatever. Cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. I tried it out. Stood there in my, I sat there in my cube in my little chair, took some deep cleansing breaths, and I, you know, had one in each hand. And hers, hers are just a little bigger than mine, but whatever. And I held them, you know, kind of down here like meditation kind of stance with my arms kind of where they'd be on my knees, sort of, I guess. And I, within about, within a minute, I felt this incredibly heavy feeling right in here let's see like down kind of midway between my my like where my diaphragm would be I guess almost stifling almost suffocating it was very overwhelming the feeling that I had it was heavy but at the same time it was kind of like kind of like it was pulling at me um the only way I can kind of describe it would be if you ever remember those those little uh what is it woolly willy or whatever those things were that had the little magnet shavings inside of the plastic and it was a person's face in there and you had your little magnet stick and you could pull the little magnet things you know wherever you wanted to and you could decorate his face does anybody remember those things sorry my camera's moving Okay, that's that's what it felt like. It was it was a heavy feeling, but it was also a a pulling feeling like it was, it was trippy. I I didn't like it, to be honest with you. And I I you know, I sat through it. It was I was almost kind of stuck. I was almost kind of felt like I was nailed to the wall kind of. It was just it was really it was really a weird experience. And once I got to where I could kind of move, I set those balls down. I don't want to play with them balls anymore. <laughs> That's enough of that. Thank you. You can keep your weird little balls to yourself. No me gusta. After I talked to her, you know, she, she did mention that they are, they were used mostly by shamans. These are iron oxide uh, base. They're, they're, they have a hematite exterior, raw hematite exterior. And I believe they said there's a sandstone kind of casing and it's, it's iron, it's, it's, uh, Iron concretions is what I keep hearing. And it's very cool because if you put them close together, you can feel the energy in between them. Like a very light, light magnet. Very light magnet. And and she explained that they 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 realign the energy basically. They realign your your chakra, your chi, you know, whatever you want to call it. I don't I don't know how those terminologies relate to each other, but basically the energies in your body get aligned. I gotta quit holding these actually, I'm getting kinda bleh. 
but uh, anyway, they, you know, they, they it kind of realigns your, your energy in your body. And they're used for grounding. I believe I read in a couple of places they're, you know, they, they've been used for contacting extraterrestrial beings or energy. They have been used in vision quests. They are used in multiple ways when it comes to connecting with outside, um, outside energy, outside of our being here that we have inside of our bodies. I use it personally. I have started using them. I've got used to them. Uh, the second time, let me go back. The second time I used them, it was not near as stifling. It was not near as uh, powerful or I would say maybe negative in my opinion. I, I actually, for a while after setting those down, I felt weird. I felt kind of woozy. Um, I would compare it to kind of Similar to how I feel today, I've done two workouts today. I did a hard workout this morning, and then I did karate this afternoon, and I really haven't replaced a lot of those calories, and so I'm kind of like, ugh, kind of feeling. I've been kind of like, mm, all day. In fact, I didn't even want to make this video, but I need to get it done. So it's it's that kind of, kind of feeling. But as it sort of dissipated and went away as the day went on, I, I felt, I felt better, and... So I, I, I decided to give him another shot. So the second time I used them, it was a more positive experience. It was actually pretty freaking cool. I was sitting in my cube again. I was by myself. Everybody kind of gone to lunch and done whatever it is they needed to do. So I was all alone. And I sat there and I held him again. And this time I didn't get that stifling feeling. And this was like a day or two later. I didn't get that stifling feeling again. But instead, I'm, I'm in a room where I work has the fluorescent lighting. It's a typical cube farm. And I was sitting there with my eyes closed. And, you know, if you've ever kind of had someone flash a light or a flashlight or turn on a light when you're sleeping and your eyes are closed, you can sense that the difference in the light and the intensity of the light coming through. Okay, that's what I felt. I'm sitting there holding these things and I, it's like a... It's like light was kind of washing, it was washing, and then it just kind of pulsated, and it was pulsating from right here. And, you know, again, I, I've, I've read, and my coworker also mentioned that it is connected with your third eye chakra. It, it opens up that, that, you know, that, I say portal, but kind of in a way, you know, a connective pathway for your third eye. And I, I actually did sense a pulsing light and I, of course I opened my eyes after a minute and looked around thinking are one of the lights going out or something is there something going on and it, it wasn't it, the, the lights were steady so that was kind of interesting so I tried it again um, you know she, my coworker is a dear sweet wonderful woman and she actually found these in I believe it was in Austin not long ago and she purchased these for me during the holidays so I will owe her a debt of gratitude for the rest of my life because this is incredibly awesome that she did this. So these were a gift from a very dear friend of mine who has an affinity for crystals and rocks. And if anyone was going to pick out my monkey balls, it would be her. So thank you, sweet buddy of mine. I tried them when I got home. I, I decided to kind of make them part of my um, tarot ritual, so to speak. Whenever I get ready to read cards, I have a process that I've come to kind of I go I go through before I read cards especially when I'm reading them for someone that I don't know whenever I get an email you know when I get a an Etsy shop purchase these are people I have no idea who they are I don't know anything about their lives except what they send me in an email if they send me anything and so consequently I really feel like I need to tune in completely because I have nothing to go off of I have it is nothing but intuition that I have to use and so I have to get my mind right. So I have kind of a little ritual. You know, it might be kind of fun to do another video on. Hmm. Uh, but this is part of it. This is part of what I do is that I, I use my mochi balls. I have to hold my balls for a little bit before I can think clearly. <laughs> yeah. But yes, I do use them and they've helped. I have, uh, you know, fortunately I have been able to really get closer to my cards I have been able to really tap into my tu intuition in on a new level and I give part of that credit to these to these 
these fabulous balls that help me to ground and center before I tune in. So anyway, if anybody has seen these in a shop, they, they do come in pairs, or they should. There is typically a male and a female. The male is usually bigger. Some people, uh, sometimes they sell them as like a flatter. It's almost like a disc more shaped than a, than a 3D kind of ball like this. It's like a flatter version. I've never seen that. But, um, you know, this is, this is my male. This is my female. And I, you know, I kind of hold them for a minute or two, you know, when it feels right. And then I'll switch them. You know, I'm, I'm all about polarity and balance. And so, you know, I want, I want to make sure that I maintain that in my own practice so that I stay balanced because I have, you know, I have, obviously I'm female. I have fem female energy that's very strong, but I also have a very strong male energy. And I think that may be because I am a fire, uh, I, I, I'm a fire person. So I do have that, rah, that aggressive, you know, type of male energy. So I'm all about staying balanced because <laughs> when Gypsy gets off kilter, it's scary. So there we go. Moki balls, thunder balls, or, you know, if, if you just, if you don't like saying the word balls, you can call them shaman stones or Moki marbles or Moki stones or what was another one? I don't remember. I like Moki balls. <laughs> hey, you guys have a great weekend. Blessed be.